Let's start off with our exclusive cover story. This is the Sony Xperia Ion. Now, the amazing thing about this phone is that once again, in terms of design and style, this gets top marks. Ever since Sony brought in the sub-brand Xperia, their design team seems to be on a rampage, literally running through the competition with great stuff. I mean, just looking at this phone, it's got a very nice stainless steel and aluminium finish. This is a red phone. It comes in other colors. Rubber on the top and bottom, great screen, very slim and fantastic display. The resolution is mind-boggling. But does the rest really, really come up to the price point? I've already said the price point is a little high. So let's see, justified or not? This is the Selguru Review. It's been eight long months since CES when we first saw this phone. Usually an eight-month gap between announcement and release sounds a death knell for a phone as the competition catches up. This rule doesn't apply here as the long absence has certainly made the heart grow fonder and the phone is still a cracker of a device. Sony's answer to the Galaxy S3 and the One X has finally made way to India and we at Selguru bring you its exclusive hands-on review. In looks, it does give a similar feel as the Sony Xperia S, but the screen is slightly bigger at 4.5 inches and a pixel resolution of 720 into 1280. Below the screen, four touch-sensitive Android keys. These did seem slightly awry as the touch targets for the keys are a little too small and often missed when pressed. The back casing has an interesting wine-red color, but it's also available in black, and the phone is a comfortable size to hold. Lots of keys and ports all over the phone. On the right, a power, volume and a direct camera key. At the top, a 3.5mm jack and on the left, hidden discreetly beneath the cover, the USB and HDMI port. Flip the phone around and there's a massive 12MP camera which is its big USB. There are several scene options and panorama mode to play around. The picture we took came out well but didn't really justify the 12 megapixel tag. A 1.3MP front camera allows for fine video chat as well. For storage, it has 16 GB inbuilt memory, which can be expanded to 32 GB and has 1 GB RAM, a 1.5 GHz dual core processor, and an inaccessible powerful 1900 mAh battery back to phone. Sony had initially released Xperia Ion with the gingerbread OS, which was a letdown, but now the phone does taste better with the ice cream sandwich operating system. For connectivity, the Ions is complete with Wi Fi, Bluetooth, Tethering, NFC, and Android Beam. Sony has charged this Ion with a massive price tag of 35,000. Rupees. Sony Xperia Ion scores design 8, display 9, features 8, performance 8, USB 12 MP camera 8, overall score 8.2. Okay, let's start off now with our feature story. This is myth busting territory, and I think a story whose time has come a very relevant story. How do you buy a digital camera phone? A phone that has a great camera. Do you only look at the megapixel strength of that phone? Well, that would be about the worst way to buy a great camera phone, and here's why. They're getting better every day, from a basic VGA camera to a jaw-dropping 41 megapixels. We have come a long way, baby. But wait a minute, what does a megapixel really mean? Pictures are made up of dots called pixels. Multiplying the horizontal and the vertical pixels gives you the megapixel resolution of the camera. While this is an important criterion while buying a camera, the sad fact is that for most people, it's the only criterion. And that is a huge mistake. There are many other factors that have to be looked at. It's now time to clear the clouds and bust the myths. Selguru presents the new age buying guide to the perfect camera phone. Chapter 1. Shoot at sight. When you're testing the camera of a phone, it is most important to shoot picture in three different scenarios. Go to the dimmest, darkest place and shoot some close-ups. Shoot with another person standing in front of a bright light and shoot pictures of a fast-moving object, like vehicles on a road just outside. These give you a clear indicator of the quality of the camera. Chapter 2. Higher megapixel, better camera? This has got to be the biggest myth in the world of camera phones. In fact, a slim smartphone with a limited sensor size can degrade the picture quality if it is crammed with too many pixels. That's why a 5 megapixel camera may outperform an 8 MP camera. Megapixels alone should not determine your buying decision. Chapter 3 Image Processor In high end phones these days, the image processor is also crucial. This determines the shutter lag or time taken to process the image after a click. Recent phones have an image chip that is capable of taking several continuous pictures in just a second. Chapter 4. In Focus 
lens and optics matter. Glass optics are always better than plastic. Also, completely ignore the digital zoom. It just messes up your pictures. Optical zoom is a far better option. Also, a fast autofocus is critical as opposed to fixed focus. Chapter 5. Easy Usability Besides these, usability is equally important. How fast and easy is it to access the camera? How good are the special effects and editing options? Are there enough shooting modes? Does it scale down data-heavy pictures to make them easy for emailing? Some phones these days support geotagging and additional features such as direct uploads to social media services and sharing options. So get these steps right and say goodbye to the dirty picture. Unless, of course, it has Vidya Balan in it. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.